Oh, prepare for your oh moment of the morning. Are you scared of traveling with your pets? This week, Delta Airlines began offering a GPS pet tracker oh. for its customers to help make the traveling process a little bit less stressful. And joining us now with more ways to make sure your pets are safe when you travel, Courtney Scott, senior travel editor at Travelocity. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. I just I wasn't even in this segment, but I'm just I'm here to touch your puppies. I'm not in any. I'm not going to participate. I know. I think a lot of people are nervous though, especially to fly with their animals. It's true. And rightfully so. You're separated from your pet for quite a while. But Delta's new uh, technology is really helpful. It allows you to track the temperature and also the positioning of the cage. And if the temperature goes above 85 degrees, an automatic alert is sent to the customer care team. It's about $50 to participate in the in the tracker. But it's, it's definitely a comfort. People are so scared. I would never put my dogs under a plane. I feel, Anna and I are both dog lovers. We were just talking about this in the commercial break. Is it actually safe? I mean, it is safe. There are, um, you know, things like what Delta is doing to really help uh, people gain that comfort level. Um, but if you do have a smaller pet, you can put them under the seat, and that's always, you know, better. Of course, there are some travel tips, um, safety tips for our animals as well. The first one you say is properly identify your pet. I mean, obviously, you need the tags. You want a microchip. You need the tag. You also need to make sure your current cell phone number is on that tag. And um, if you don't have the microchip already, you can use this app called Tile. It's actually a virtual lost and found. Oh. It's great for luggage and keys, but also you can put, put it on your pet's collar. And it's also a GPS tracker that you can track on your mobile device. So, so another great you thing. can bring dogs. I think many people might not know this. You can bring dogs on airplanes and it's not that expensive. You on can. The plane, there right? is a small fee for pets and it, it varies based on the airline, but you can put it under the seat. It's also based on how large your pet is, obviously. And just like we want a little nice beverage as the cart comes by, we want to hydrate our hounds too. You've got to hydrate your hounds. And if you are putting them down, down below the plane in a crate. Um, invest in a little drip water bottle and make sure the pet knows how to use it if they've never used it before. And if you're taking a road trip, you know, get a little collapsible bowl and make frequent stops, especially as we head into the warm weather in summer. So then you land with your dog and where do you stay? I mean, how many hotels accept dogs? You know, most of the large chains do accept pets uh, based on how large they are, and there and there are varying fees. But two properties really do a great job of pampering your pet. Kimpton is one, yes. and they offer them uh, no, at no extra charge. You can bring your yeah. pet, and they give you know great plush beds and water bowls and things like that, as well as Weston. Uh, there's a small fee of about fifty dollars for the Weston property to bring your pet, but they give the the pets these heavenly plush beds and lots of fun extras and they really do a great job. Of I guess we can't them. forget too, we need to go visit the vet before we, we embark on our travels. That's important just to give you that um, you know extra comfort level to know your dog or pet has a clean bill of health and that they have been updated on all their vaccinations and preventative care like flea and tick and heart. Right. All that plus um, anxiety medication even. I've, I've had some of my friends travel with their, their small animals. One of them has a chihuahua and is very anxious. So There are all sorts of things out there. Yeah. The thunder shirt, um, you know, pills to help calm your pet. So, so. this is, you know, in a lifetime of dog obsession, this may be the cutest puppy I've ever oh, seen. And so if you sweet. agree with that he's such a nice dog, he's a Bernese Mountain mix. <laughs> if you want to adopt this puppy or any of the puppies you see in this show, contact the North Shore Animal League of America. Today they have a mill dog rescue coming with over 80 puppies and small dogs. They're great people, and the dogs are just unbelievable. This one especially. Adopt no, this, this dog. Oh, this Lottie Poo, too. Ooh. All right.